Yo, 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 this is Ram Man. I'm back with another video. Let's get into this. This year, 2024, lots some more men just getting out the country traveling. Lots of more men have got their passports getting out the country traveling. I mean, I see this on social media all the time. I mean, even when I go on my Instagram, Facebook, you know, of course, what I'm signed up to as far as the different pages, you know, like the Colombian, uh, Ecuador, uh, Peru, um, like some Brazil uh, pages too. Lots of men are getting out there, but you know, Colombia, like, see when people like be saying, uh, you know, these countries gonna get like Americanized, all that type of stuff. No, like, like I say, in Colombia, they still got a lot of their culture intact for the most part. Like I say, it's sectors there that the locals are not gonna allow that shit. You know what I'm saying? They not. They gonna live in how they, and mimic, basically mimic how they culture and keep their culture still alive. In the local areas now, I ain't talking about in the tourist areas. Tourist areas, oh, it, it always getting, um, gentrified it's always getting more so americanized because they want to bring more money in you know what i'm saying so of course any big city you go around the world it's gonna be more diluted you know in the tourist areas because they want the money to come in they want to appease what most of the people of whatever country coming to to go see and do. That's all. So Americans are not gonna go over there and change the Colombian culture in the local areas. That ain't happening. Not even in Ecuador, that's not gonna happen. In Brazil, it's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? In the big cities, okay. In the tourist areas, like I say, them are areas that it's gonna always feel more Americanized because of the stuff they got there and the stuff they gonna want you to get into while you're there. They gonna wanna make it feel like just like home. Where you from? Where you from? And then you know it, it just still goes back to the similar thing here in the states um you you already know like the small rural towns or hardly anybody don't live there you know it's more so the people that live there still got some type of um value they hold on to that's passed down from the generation that came before them they just, you know, it's gonna be everywhere you're going in the, around the world. That's just how it's gonna be. But more and more, especially men, are starting to get out more and going to other countries. Or well, going to going out of the country. Let me just say that. And like I say, when you got feeds that's on your page, on whatever social media page you got, and you signed up and joined as a member of whatever page, when American people be on there and saying, you know, tell you their experiences in this country or that country, of course it always gonna seem like a lot because you in that group. You know what I'm saying? But more men are branching off in so many different countries. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, the ones I hear about is the ones that 
I joined a group with. But I know it's way more other countries, men again now too, besides Colombia, Ecuador, uh, Panama, Peru, um, and so forth and uh, so on. Yeah. That's a good thing too, like I say, because when you go into these other countries, you get a different perspective on how the people is versus how the people is here in the States. You know, some of the things they do here in the States that they don't do over there. You get that perspective. You know, and yeah, that's just it. But this is Rand Man. Y'all out there, y'all have a good day. I will holler at y'all later. Peace out.